David Cohen from Variety here. You know, a lot of people talk about visual effects as a technical category, but technology just provides the tools. The creative decisions are made by artists. And if you don't believe that visual effects really is an art, you may feel differently after you take a look at this year's nominated visual effects films and hear from visual effects supervisors, Joe Letary and Paul Franklin. What I look for when I go to judge visual effects are what is the combination of realism and expressiveness and does that serve the story? In other words, if things look too fake, you're out of the story. But you don't want just a copy of realism in most cases. In most cases, you're trying to do something hyper real. You're trying to you know, add to what would have been there and you're trying to, to use that to propel the story along. Well, for me, the best visual effects work is the stuff that I don't even realize it's visual effects. In terms of trying to work out if you're actually looking at visual effects, you need to start asking yourself, well, would it have really been possible to shoot that? When you ask yourself those sorts of questions, the sort of reality check, then you can start thinking, okay, well, there must be some work in there. And then you start asking yourself, well, can I see the join between what must be reality and what must be fantasy? And if you can't see the join, then for me, that's, that's great work. I like effects where they look real to you, you got to believe that they're real, but you know they're not. So it's those moments of allowing you to like question what you're seeing that hopefully engage you as a viewer and kind of draw you into the story. The things that would give away a visual effect would be uh, they're primarily technical things, balancing film grain, stock and things like that, so that if you look at one part of the image and it's got a different texture to another part of the image, you know that somebody needed to do a little bit more work. There are some very basic criteria you can apply to it. Is somebody's hairline properly preserved? The other thing to look for is do you think it's really plausible what's actually going on in the shot? Do you believe it? Now that doesn't mean it has to be real. It doesn't mean that a spacecraft has to fly exactly the way that real spacecraft would do if somebody actually built it, because that might not tell the story in an efficient fashion. But you need to be able to sell that sense of believability. So the audience looks at it and says, yeah, I buy that. I think that's real. I think that's how it might actually work. Because we're always creating fantasy, there is always some element of it that by definition is not real. But what we try to do is to create the parts that you can hang your hat on to be as realistic as possible. So we're constantly making those kinds of judgments and, and walking that line. That is the art of visual effects. Increasingly, the question a visual effects artist has to ask themselves is not how are we going to do it, Really the question is, why are we doing it in the first place? Does it serve the story and uh, does it fit in with the rest of the film? What I love about the job is this it's got this great combination of artistry and science. So we get to explore the world. Every time something new comes up to us, like for example with Planet of the Apes, we have to become expert with chimps. Yet we also get to take that and to create drama with it. We get to, to create photographic realism and we get to create films. And to me, that, that mix is, is something that you couldn't do any other way.